Hello everybody, hope you are fine. Welcome to Digestuff videos and Digestuff YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show to you the Pioneer DJ interface, interface 2. It's a sound card by Pioneer and it will allow you to upgrade your setup, your old setup, if you have a mixer uh, without a sound card and turntable or CD player without a sound card, a USB port. You can use it, you can use the interface to, uh, to upgrade your setup, your DJ setup to a DVS setup. It means you will have a um, DVS record, a vinyl record or a CD record. Uh, you can download the WAVE um, file into on, on recordbox.com, uh, I think. And you can um, put it on the CD and put it in your CD player. So the DVS mod is uh, allow you to mix with your uh, records, normal records, vinyl records into your computer and um, to make a resume. If you have uh, three minutes in your vi special DVS vinyl, you will have three minutes in your uh, MP3 or WAV uh, file into your uh, record box uh, DJ software. Because it's a song card, we don't have to tell a lot of things about it. Uh, so uh, I'm just, uh, I will just show you the connection, how to uh, connect uh, your turntable, etc., to your mixer, to the sound card, etc. Uh, I will show you the package, what is in the box, and uh, after a little sound and cut. What is in the box and the connection? So you will have your interface too, of course. If you need to listen to uh, records without computer, you will need the power supply. But if you only use DVS, you will just have to plug the USB cable. So first, the power supply, the USB cable, so everything is in the box. You will need uh, a SEA cable for the, the connection between your uh, turntable and your mixer. You will have four SEA cable to uh, connect one uh, deck to deck and the output here. So I will connect my turntable here and your output the same. So deck on the right for deck two and deck on the left for deck one. And it's easy because when you have a signal in your turntable or CD player, we'll, you will have this lead. It's not blinking. Eh? So if you have one connection, you will have the same, but look, it will blink. You have a good signal if both are connected. Okay, you know how to connect and what is in the package. Uh, first, before uh, mix, um, you have to know one thing. When you plug the interface to, you have, like I said in the connection, you can uh, connect the power supply or not. If you want to uh, listen to real vinyl, a uh, real record or not, or using a DVS. So when you are on your computer, and when you install Interface 2, you will have a little software, um, a ut utility software, and you can choose if you, for the deck one and deck two, if you want the USB mode, so DVS mode, or through, through, is to uh, listen to record directly. You don't have to unplug your RCA, your cable, etc. You, you plug just like that, you unplug nothing, and you can listen to a record uh, to your record directly in the sound card and in the mixer without any computer. So if you want to have DVS mode, you have just to choose USB for both for deck one, deck two, and after you can mix. So I put a DDG SP1 because you don't have any control to control uh, your browsing or the navigation in your, into your tracks or playlist. You don't have hot cue, roll, etc. You will have to um, to do with your mouse or trackpad, so it's not very cool. So you can buy with the interface two uh, DDG SP1 to have to manage those uh, hot cue, uh, roll, uh, browse, uh, browsing, etc. 
So after making the connection, you just have to uh, power on your turntable or your CD player, put your record, your record box record into, play music, and you have all things. So it's all for now, you see the shortest video in my uh, entire channel. So it was the Pioneer DJ Interface 2. If you have any question about the product, feel free to uh, write your um, question under the video and I will uh, answer with pleasure, no problem, if I can answer. Uh, thank you for watching this video, uh, see you later for another uh, content. Take care, bye bye.